Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world. And thank you for joining us for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK. I'll be one of your shoutcasters for today. We'll also have Vanille. She'll be the lovely person, camera woman in the game. How you doing today, Vanille? Good. She got some sleep and she's ready to go. And also we have the legend with us, Rails Barlow as well. How you doing, Rails? I'm doing very well, MK. Thank you for that glorious introduction. This is going to be a hell of a one game that we have here in the fifth round of the Quarantine Anniversary Tournament going live. It's teams 44 Biceps versus Mad Sad Bad with 44 Biceps on Survivors First, MSB on the Special Infected. As I just said, this is going to be a neutral best of one game with the winner going to four and one and the loser falling, unfortunately, to three and two, trying to get into that top 16 portion of this tournament's uh, double elimination phase that'll be coming after the Swiss stage. But MK, dead center, maps one to four. This first hit can be pretty deadly depending on the fact that the survivors only have two guns to their names. Indeed, and it's going to be a hunter, jockey, charger, and a smoker as the 44 biceps are going to have to deal with first. Tank is going to be 84%, which will be at the bottom of the elevator. Fade timer coming up, and survivors are doing that indeed. Hunter goes out for a scratch, not able to get anything. Survivors holding S going back, and Jockey does land. Spit goes in. Charge lands as well. There's a, quite a bit of damage going out onto Ellis right now. A little bit of death spit, and a, look at that, uh, Rails. About 13% damage on the opening attack. Not too bad. And that jockey landing was huge. Let's do a quick roster rundown here. On the side of 44 biceps, it's F, Evoker, Burrs, and Antax. And who do we have for MSB, MK? We have Healy, Quark, Ryan, and Double W for Mad Sad Bad. This is going to be really interesting to see how these close range hits go, just because both teams are playing, you know, with only Evoker having green ping on this server. That smoker is going to try to get a pull onto Coach. Not going to land, however, and it's going to go right by Ellis as well with those dualies able to shut that hit down but with that tank after the elevator mk and with these first couple of hits down i think we're going to be seeing team 44 biceps make the elevator in pretty good standing yes indeed the jockey is the only one up at the moment hunter is coming up bitter's going to accompany them too the final spawn is going to be boomer they actually get to hang on to coach but you're going to get a pickup real quick they're going to try to delay it boomer gets popped spit goes out going to do a little bit of free spit damage on the coach and nick and the hunter is pouncing around and just gets shut down so minimal damage goes out but before the elevator with the attacks they got rails, that is 20% of the bonus down before they even get to the elevator. In fact, it did a good job here knocking out that fire door as well, forcing the survivors to go out on the ledge versus taking almost 20 damage, I believe. But now, this one survivor is still outside of the elevator. They're going to try to go for a quick death charge attempt, but the survivors are faster getting into that elevator. And of course, as soon as they reach that bottom floor, they'll be able to get a gun in everyone's hands. Boomer jumping and setting itself on fire here, it looks like. That might be some kind of sack for either the quad or the spitter so interesting choice by msb to do that but they probably have one and a, maybe a one and a half more hits mk before that tank spawns yes indeed and right now they're only going to be dealing with a charger jockey and a smoker there is no spitter or a boomer boomer just sacks so i'm curious if they're going to get the quad charger's going to pre-spawn but they're all going to rush out and grab their weapons so when the final spawn comes out they're going to have all their weapons to deal with it and it's going to be a spitter so they're not going to have that quad attempt pull goes out gets shut down charger doesn't Actually, I don't even see it. Oh, Charger he landed land. the double charge, but this, the charge got caught on the table, so it didn't complete onto Ellis, and the spit was also a bit short. That was almost a good amount of damage going out, and Antax is going to be forced to pop pills. Yes, indeed. It was a little hard to see there. I couldn't quite make it out, but again, before the tank does come in, they're going to be at a 68, uh, 685 health bonus, and the spawns coming up is going to be a Boomer Hunter, and the final spawn will be... A smoker, so it's going to be a retro attack on this commit now, unless they do some sack in rails. Yeah, and I don't know actually how I feel about Boomer in this area, just because the common can get focused down pretty well. Plus, they run into the fire, so they might be deciding to send this entire hit in. Tank throws a rock, not going to land. The smoker is going to get a pull out, but it's not going to get much damage either. And the Boomer is going to go in last. They do not want that for this area. They're probably going to be looking for a Charger Hunter Jockey Tricap, and I think that's the best setup they possibly could ask for in this spot. Just because once that tank actually gets in, he should be able to get probably a corner on his own by the time the survivors hit that back wall, but then they're going to need those close range SI to do a lot of the work for this tank to make it any kind of wipe. And then actually, that's the spawns they're going to have. They're not going to have a tri cap without the smoker. Actually, Peanut is actually on 100 HP right now before this tank goes in, and this is going to be the commit of the tank. He's going into down about 1500 HP, down to 2k. Spawns are spawning. They haven't gone in yet. Tank tries to get a corner, gets a punch. Gets a first in cap onto coach, gets another misses a punch onto Nick. Gets another misses another punch onto Nick. 
A two cap goes out. This might be a white rails. Actually, they get it clear. They do, but this is so close to a wipe going out. That tank, unfortunately, wasn't able to lock that last survivor in the corner. And yeah, he had a two punch down, it looks like, onto Verse there. But it doesn't really matter because the survivors were able to survive that three cap attempt. Charger barely missing. It's worth noting that everybody is playing between about 100 and 110 ping in that orange range. Aside from F on the survivors, who's carrying that large 235 red ping for this game. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the tank not being able to get him, but this is a beautiful two cap going out with that smoker getting a pull on Ellis in the front into the extremely damaging fire with that hunter going for the intercept. But MK, they are going to make the safe room still with some decent bonus for this map. Yes, they were. Before that attack went out, they were sitting just over about 270. That fire did a lot of damage to the bonus, but I think they might have some rolling spawns coming in here at the end. Because Nick is slow, and let's see what they go in with. It's going to be a Charger Jockey, Hunter, and a Spitter. They're going to want to go fast here. Jockey's ending up to go in. Charger spawns as well. Long charge goes out, doesn't hit. Jockey gets deleted. Hunter gets skated. Free spit goes out, goes in the safe room, and it won't even delay them. And that, that will be the safe room rails with, I believe, a 136 bonus. Indeed it is, and honestly for 44 biceps, they're going to get 536 points on that first map. The balance on that team is definitely between Evoker's 27 green ping and that red ping for F that I mentioned before, so it really does balance out. Both these teams are used to playing on all sorts of ping. There have been veterans in the competitive scene now for uh, at least a few years, honestly. So I'm expecting this to be a really close match, and we should expect to see, I'd say, I'd say probably both teams making safe room on map two and three and then depending on their scavenge skills we'll see exactly how that goes for this finale but mk this is such an important campaign to know in the competitive scene just because it is dead center and it's a very unique campaign that you don't see played as often in pugs i think it's become a little bit more popular with cedar pugs but in team versus team this is usually one of those weeks where if you can win on dead center you can win on any map Yes, indeed. And actually, we're having fast ready ups. The opening attack that um, Mad Tab Bad's going to have to deal with is going to be a Charger, Jockey, Spitter, and a Hunter. This is potential for a lot of damage. Uh, there is a Magnum in the room to the right, so most likely one of the survivors without a gun is going to pick that up. Uh, they're going to push out very slow here. They know there's a pretty decent attack coming in. And actually, Rails, I think they'll probably, um, if they shut this down, I bet you they get to the stairs if nothing lands right here. Yeah, both these teams are going to be looking to hold W as much as possible through those hits, just because this is an extremely perilous chapter for survivors in its own unique way. This charger is not going to land anything, however, but it is going to die first, with that spitter also going down. Hunter and Jockey still in the spawn queue, 444 biceps here. Jockey is looking to spawn on the survivor in the front, but now the hunter is actually just kind of chilling in the back. They might decide to wait just a little bit longer prior to setting the rest of this hit in. Yes, indeed. It looks like they're they're going to elect to hold. Um, so they didn't go in. 5% damage was off the bonus. Hunter is now chasing from behind. Doesn't get a respawn. Um, his support's going to be a Boomer, Smoker, and a uh, Jockey. Boomer's going for a spawn from the bottom. Not able to get it. Actually, does get a 2-boom. Jockey's up top, and looks like the SI is not going in yet. Rails? Oh, they want that charger if they can get it at all from this hit. And I think they might actually have a chance of doing so because they sacked the spitter on that first hit as well. This jockey is taking position above the survivors. Dropping down now, though, getting M2. Hunter is going to land on Rochelle in the back for a decent amount of damage prior to that clear going out. And there is the insta smoke going in with this charger now coming up into the hands of Burrs. Nothing really to help him, though land this death charge so far and he might be forced to wait for the second hallway but he actually goes in or tries to go in and chest bumps the door now getting two punches on to coach but this has been an awkward si round so far mk yeah i'm not quite sure what the charger was doing there actually to see some vote kicks coming out probably on him they didn't get the punch on the first door so they actually they're gonna go around i thought maybe they would go through the fire there rails but it looks like they're not gonna and the attack is only gonna be a 2-2 Boomer, Spitter, Jockey. Spitter just goes in for a delay. And the other spawn is going to be a Hunter. Oh, look at that Jock. There's a Jock in the background. Oh, my. Now, okay, this I really don't agree with on Survivor side, as we are going to be seeing Nick go down in the fire here. Really unfortunate misplay going out by MSB. Just because now this other Survivor picking him up, Ellis is going to be taking fire damage this entire time. They tried to send two outside, two inside, and ended up just splitting themselves instead of blocking the spawn. They had a beautiful amount of health bonus prior to that, but that jockey landing in the spit plus the fire got that full in cap. 
and we actually might see another hit go in now with that jockey bouncing in. Charger going in as well, going to decommit the Charger, backing off there as the spit goes in. But yeah, really unfortunate there for MSB to take that much damage on a very awkwardly positioned hit. And they've also popped both of their pills. I'm surprised Ryan chose to do that. They were going to take another ha uh, hit regardless before the elevator. But they are down now only with two sets of pills. Um, they do have two survivors around 80 HP, so it's not too bad. Um, but that is something they're going to have to think about when this tank goes in. Indeed, they are. And now with that, that's two survivors bleeding, right? And they have two sets of pills. But best case scenario, they're going to have all pills committed after this tank, I would say. It's also extremely possible for Evoker, aka Peanut, to get this wipe. We'll see if this hit prior to tank does a mass amount of damage or not. It's a Hunter Spitter Boomer Charger, so good damage potential for this, but there's the wall kicking Hunter going in. As the Charger is now going to try to charge that Survivor into the wall, but he's not quite able to find it. Spit goes down onto nothing, so that helps MSB's case, but it's really going to come down to this tank that we're about to see. And honestly, MK, we can see a high wipe rate in this area just because it can be pretty easy to land those caps after the tank is able to get fully in, in the middle of all that fire and smoke. Yes, indeed it can. And actually, this is going to be the first tank for 44 biceps, and it will be a peanut tank. So their green uh, pink survivor is going to get the tank. So we'll see if he gets those long arms in. Or we're going to have to time it a little better. It takes a little bit of fire damage, not much, only three damage. And right now, his support's going to be a jockey smoker and a boomer. And I'm not sure if that's exactly what they want. Well, actually, I Actually, think they actually, threw no, he's that. Yeah, he's sacked. Yeah, they sent the boomer, and the boomer got a quad boom, but even with that, really, the horde just dies so fast down here due to all of the fire around and the way the common path through it. That's going to be a hunter landing, E-Rock being thrown into the ceiling as the smoker is going to die. So they really do want that charger, I would say, here, and they could commit with the boomer, but like I said, it's high risk, high reward in this spot because they can't control if those common run through the fire or not. Yes, indeed. Um... He's almost about done with his first pass, taking minimal chip, not too bad, just about 200, trying to hold on to that first pass. Uh, there is a Boomer, Hunter, and a Charger. I actually had to go in. The Charger lands, gets cleared right away. Rock, uh, boom, Honey hops in and gets proxied onto one, and actually, I guess they don't want the Charger for this tank of it, Rails. This is interesting. He's trying to bleed them out as much as possible, and it's working, actually, because Ryan is going to have to commit another set of pills after Nick, a.k.a. Quark Glonis, already committed that other set of pills, so they're going to be out of pills prior to the tank committing, basically, and if he's able to even get a down or a down and a half, it would be huge, but he's looking for more than that, obviously, as he starts working his way in. Smoker Hunter Jockey for the support. There's the early corner going out onto Nick into that elevator, but we do see a melee going out onto the tank's back. The problem is all three survivors couldn't shoot the tank when he was in there, and then there is the double cap outside getting briefly cleared by that M2, but now the Jockey and Hunter are both going to land after the tank got that second corner. That is the wipe going out for 44 biceps on the team MSB, and that was the situation MK where once again the tank was able to get that first corner in that first elevator shaft, and there wasn't really a whole lot the survivors could do because only one other survivor was doing damage to him at that point. Yes, indeed. When he got the in cap, he was still just a little bit under half health, so... The tank was very healthy, almost died at the end though, but that support just rolled in perfectly, rails landing on one after the other. One did get cleared, but got instantly capped by the jockey, and that's some top tier uh, infected play that we expect to see here with two teams like this. Indeed it is, and now this second map can be such an interesting chapter for the survivors, just because there are a couple tanks on this that definitely favor them more than others. If it's the... It's the, it, it is the tank that's going to be on the walkway prior to the gun store, and that tank is so defined by whether or not the SI can hit a car into that walkway. I've had it happen against me, and I've seen it happen in matches. I think I saw 44 biceps do it in RBT5 as well, so they're going to know that that's their best chance for getting any kind of wipe on this, but first they have a survivor side to play. Another fast ready up going out. 44 biceps leading on the survivor side. MSB on the special infected. First hit is going to be a Charger Boomer Hunter Smoker MK, and that Boomer's already pre-spawned for it. Yes, it looks like he's going to try to get a free boom over the top and kill himself last, because they definitely want a spitter and hopefully a Charger for the next attack, but he should see survivors do a little bit of baiting, take this very cautiously, or all run underneath real quick. And it looks like they're getting ready to make their move. Time, bay timer should start shortly. Um, it looks like all the SI, for the most part, are going to try to come above them. And indeed, they're trying to make a push. The one boom goes out. One survivor stays out. They go all back in the safe room. The two charge lane along with a pull. Charger gets cleared without a slam. Hunter gets shut down. And a pull into this out of the safe room with a boomer dying last, getting a proxy at the end. And all in all, 6% uh, damage, I guess not... 
too, too bad if you're mad sad bad since they all ran back in the safe room? Rails? Yeah, but the most important thing I think that they want from that is they want that spitter. That's why you saw the charger go in anyway. The hunter tried to cover, but it was extremely difficult to do when the survivors were able to just focus fire that door. But because they went in the way they did, they have a great three cap for this now. Charger, Jockey, Hunter, Spitter, and I think they're gonna try to send it right now as that Hunter is gonna get the wall kick onto the Survivor on the railing. Jockey landing in the back, Charger landing in the front. That is a lot of damage going out. Unfortunate that the Spitter missed, but even with that said, this Jockey was being taken forever to clear. That's a yes, it, lot of damage. Yes, it was. That was 24% off the the, the, uh, the HP bonus. That was a really good attack by Mad Sad Bad. That separation on Jockey on the outside was huge, and it did get peen at the green survivor, so unfortunately he didn't get that M2 in. Uh, but the rolling attack coming in, actually, support uh, attack coming in is going to be a Boomer, Smoker, Hunter, and a Charger. And actually, Smoker's going to go out, get a pull onto Rochelle. Hunter goes in, this gets skated by Planet. Or, I mean, by, yeah. Sorry, Planet, Peanut, Evoker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all of the above. I'm, yeah, I'm used to calling him Planet because where I met him, that was his name, but Boomer's getting bullied around, he does get a proxy onto Peanut, so that will be the attack shutdown. Indeed it will be, and it looks as though the survivors are going to try to push this way far before the spitter is up. The charger is going to pre-spawn, but now they have the jockey and the spitter in the spawn queue as well. Charger goes in, magic to land onto Coach, getting a single pound. Here comes the spit as well. Jockey is going to take him around the corner. That's a full end cap onto Verse. Great SI play so far this map from Team Mad Sad Bad. That was a little separated there, and the spawns were rolling in. They did capitalize on it. Smoker is the only one up. Still a few seconds for the other spawns to come, so we should see them home. hold. Uh, they do not find an extra set of pills, I don't think, so they're only going to have these three sets going in, and they only have 15% more to go till the tank comes up, and spawns rolling in will be a Smoker, Boomer, Hunter, and a Charger rails. It will, and this is going to be a good hit for the drop. We see that Boomer getting a nice double boom. Not sure how Ellis didn't get boom there either, but that is going to be the double boom, having all the comments from the front go in as the rest of the SI are holding. Hunter, Charger, Smoker, they're looking either for the quad or for another good spit hit here, and honestly, I might prefer a spitter in this area. They're going to start going now, though, prior to that being in the queue as the Smoker gets a pull from behind. Charger rockets in, lands onto Ellis up top. That's a pound onto Antax. With that spitter just coming into spawn right now, they sent it right before they were able to get all four of those up, but it really didn't matter, MK, and they did another good job landing that charger and getting that pound onto the team 44 biceps. Yes, and look at actually their health bonus is already down to 750. It's 56% left. A pull's actually going forward. Jockey looks like he's going to try to get a separation on a peanut, but peanut gets the M2 and does shut down the jockey. That was actually really big. If that landed, that would have been devastating. And it looks like we're going to see the tank probably go back. Nope, he's actually going to press forward. And let's see if survivors back up. And it looks like they're going to try to get some chip before he jumps in here, Rails. They're going to be forced to back up with that one boom going in. Tank in the hands of WW, 14 MSB. Because of how good these hits have been so far by his team, you know, he's if he even just gets like two or three downs here, that would be absolutely amazing and all the pills would be committed. But this is a wipeable situation, especially for this hit now. Smoker, Charger, Hunter for the SI support. And Tank is going to be doing as much parkour as needed to get on top of the survivors. And now he's going to have that height advantage as the Smoker jumps in. Pounce is going to land as well. Rock goes in, not going to land onto the pulled survivor. Charger is going to try to get the person down from the generator there. As that Rock goes curving around the corner and hits Nick. Tank is on second pass, but he's in an excellent position right now. Almost landing that curve Rock as well. But MK, someone is going to need to get Ellis off of that generator. Yes, indeed, they're going to have to. I mean, look at his frustration. He's only down, he's down to 30%. He's going to have to commit here. That was a dangerous rock. This is going to be the commit. Boomer, Jockey, and Smoker. He's going to have to go with the support. He's down 1k HP. Gets a punch on to Nick. He's down to half his health. Another punch getting meleeed by Peanut in the back. A two boom goes out. He missed. I think he missed a punch there. He gets another punch on to Nick. And that'll be an it. Oh my gosh, it might be a death. No, he doesn't get killed. There's still a two boom goes. Tank's down to 1700 HP. He lands a rock. Ellis is still on the top. Another punch onto, onto Rochelle. It looks like the tank's going to run out. But Planet's going to chase him. Chase him. Oh. He's another rock for it. Yeah, and this if this tank can get out, rails. that's huge. 
He's at 15 health as he moves out. Ellis finally dropping down, going to get the survivor who's in the street. That charger is going to spawn now, going for coach and managing to land it as well. Rock is going to go flying in, not going to land onto Ellis, but that's almost another down onto Verse. Hunter and Jockey both in. Car going in, not quite going to land. We do see the pounce in front. Jockey lands onto coach. This hunter could actually get a kill here if this jockey can cover. Still managing to get it, and Rochelle is going to almost die. Oh my goodness, is she going to bleed out? Yes, yes, she is. Wow. Okay. What a play. That was a great tank by Mad Sad Bad. There's oh, survivors just thanks. raining rocks on, uh, um, from above before the commit. Ate a rock. Tank did a good job on getting his corner. Did miss some punches, but that two boom was huge. And actually, the boomer's going in now. Not able to get onto anybody. Um, Spitter is up as well. Yeah, but right now, the smoker in charge are looking for spawn. Smoker misses. Pre-spit goes out. Charge goes into a tri-boom. Tri boom. That's going to be another in-cap. Some death spit. That's potential to do a lot more damage, but they're going to survive, Rails. They're going to survive, but that's just about all. They are completely dead, either right as they start this event by hitting that button to go up the stairs, but I don't even think they make it to the fuel truck at this rate, just because they're going to have, what, one survivor being Burrs, black and white, and two others on one in-cap, all bleeding. MSB should be able to get a couple more hits before they're up that staircase, and it might be enough to take them out. Hunter's gonna go in, magic to land onto Verse in the front. He is dead as this jockey jumps over the side. Boomer's gonna get a nice one boom onto Ellis. Charger and jockey looking to send it here prior to the survivors getting downstairs, as the case may be, but both are slow, both are continuing to bleed, and this has been exactly what Team MSB have needed because they can definitely kill that tank in better fashion than we just saw go out from Team 44 Biceps. The Jockey does die, but it's still borrowed time, I'd say, at this point, as that Charger is not quite going to land, but there's the Spit going out onto Ellis, and Nick is going to get pulled up top. MK, that's the wipe. Yes, indeed. 44 Biceps will get wiped. It'll bring their total chapter score to 391, and their total campaign score to 927. So right now, Mad Sad Bad has a great opportunity, just on distance alone, to close this map and almost make it even, but even more so, Rails. If they take this tank pretty well, they can actually take the lead. Indeed they could, and one thing I think that was huge about when that tank spawned, we didn't see Team 44 Biceps try to push it up to the walkway where I originally thought it was going to be. I think a big reason for that is because the SI had a hit in the queue, but also if they were to try to push it up there, I think the tank can commit right as they're making their way up the staircase and they can just take absolutely like no extra room there, I would say. So they might be forced to stay down low just because of that fact. That's probably what happened, but at the same point in time, the area that we just saw that tank fight going can be extremely special infected side, just because the tank has so much time to stay above the survivors, as we saw Team MSB demonstrate. And if a boomer lands there, or if a survivor gets like waylaid to the side, it can be a huge amount of damage. First hack is going to go in, Charger gets melted, Hunter does not land either, two boom goes out, Smoker gets cleared, and honestly, MK, this might have shifted some of the momentum to MSB's side. The, and I think you're correct. Actually, the attack was shut down pretty well. Only less than a percent damage on the bonus. Only 0.6. So it's very minimal damage across the board. Only two uh, from Antax. I believe from that two boom as well. Uh, the next attack that they're going to have to contest with will be the spitter. But it's going to be a 2-2. Not the worst place for it, Rails. But I'm pretty sure they'd rather have a hunter instead of that boomer for the inside attack coming up. Yeah, Jockey is workable here. They're going to try to send it maybe from above the survivors in the back with the charger coming in the front. So long as the survivors don't get charge spat here, they'll be in a decent position moving forward. But this Jockey might be able to get some kind of stumble from the back as well as MSB are slow playing this as much as they need to. They're all inside now. And this SI are actually waiting until they're a little bit further down. Healy here is going to be the one playing first position with that shoddy, it would seem, to try to get out of the way of whatever Team 44 biceps send in, and he has a chance at doing it with how these SI are trying to come in. Jockey's gonna go in looking for it. Charger lands up the stairs for a double charge as that spit goes down. Great job by Team 44 biceps, ignoring the first guy essentially and setting that charger on the two survivors who were stacked. My goodness, it sets, it sets double W down to 50 HP, Ryan down to 75. Bonus was 18% taken off at that hit, so they did a good job on holding. I Pretty good call, actually, but it looks like the survivors are going to push forward, try to take this next choke point before spawns are up, but they're actually going to, it's going to be a quad cap attempt. Let's see if they hit them exactly when they, oh, they're slowing down a little bit here. It looks like they're going to um, elect to hit this quad, probably as they transition into the next building coming up rail. 
Absolutely. That Hunter in the hands of Antax is all the way on top of that residential building to the side. I think this is going to be like maybe the best chance on the map for a quad aside from something during the event just because there are so many rocket spawns that the si can come from that charger and jockey are both on top of where the survivors are going and they're going to be jumping in right now hunter's going to go in smoker does match land charger lands in front jockey gets m2 the charger gets a pound onto ryan it's going to almost force him to take a set of pills but if that dp had landed that would have been extremely good for team 44 biceps it's still decent either way Yes, it looks like Ryan uh, and Double W took a little bit more damage off that, um, but we do have a pause going out, so we're going to have a little bit of delay in the game, but Team Mads have bad, still sitting pretty decent. Um, they do have two survivors pretty hurt rails, so if the tank does spawn, we know that this is going to be um, an early pill commit when the tank comes up, but most of all, I'm curious to see what uh, 44 biceps are going to do with their infected, because if they don't have an infected up, uh, are there infected attack up? We might see exactly what you said. Survivors press forward and take that uh, that top area rather than fight it below. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if that happens or not. Because right now, MSB are still working their way into the building. If the SI gets spawns up and decide to hit them as they're trying to move onto that area, right? Like after they cross the street, that would maybe give them time on survivor side to push up if they shut that hit down. But it's really up to when the SI decide to hit. If they don't want the survivors to take that forward area, they probably save, I don't know, one, one or two spawns, or they try to send the SI hit right now as fast as they can to get another entire hit up by the time they try pushing up there. But honestly, I think the tank might spawn, the tank might spawn close enough to where he can just cut them off. Like that's that would be the fear that they've got. Cause if they get on top of that walkway and the tank is already like halfway down it, they're gonna be in a bad spot on survivor side. Yeah, so you can just jump in and cut them off. Um, so it's like high risk, high reward, but you never know what could happen, but like, just like you said, it's going to be depends on when they're attacking with their infected, but survivors have a little bit of an upper hand now that they just shut down the quad. Um, spawn timers are pretty high, so they're going to be able to refill with ammo before they drop down, and the ready up is coming out right now. We're about to go live, and 44 biceps going to grab some ammo quick and take this next choke point dropping down, and I don't think the SI are going to get an opportunity. I really think rails are probably going to hold at this point. Oh, they're taking it slow. They very well could, but yeah, the survivors also know that if they can get a hit to happen here, that gives them the bigger option of trying to go forward. Boomer, Hunter, Spitter, Jockey, it is that 2-2 following that quad cap attempt, and looks like the SI are actually going to be sending it here. They've got that Jockey poised to rock it with that Hunter coming from the back. Boomer on the side of the hedges, and indeed here it comes. Nice double cap going out with that Jockey landing probably a little bit silently on the side there as Rochelle also took a bit of damage, and the Boomer has saved because the Boomer is actually in the queue to become tank. Probably a good play on him holding it right now. They actually, the spawn timers are getting dangerously low to being up. Let's see if they actually go. They get a one boom. This is going to be a decision they make. This tank's about to be up. Are they going to go forward or wait? I just think they have to wait by this point, Rails, because they have a charger Ooh. jockey and a smoker up as support. Yeah, they're really, really debating it. Because as you can see, Ryan is already pretty far forward, but they're going to decide not to. I think probably because of that hit being up. Tank is going to be up right now into the hands of F himself for Team 44 Biceps. And he's going to have potentially longer-ish arms with that beautiful 247 red ping that he's playing on this one game with. And he's actually going to rotate to the side immediately, climbing up to the roof, getting chipped a little bit for his trouble. But this Smoker Jockey Charger hit could be what the SI decide to even commit with if he decides to take no more chip right now. Yes, he actually looks like he's going to do a little parkour and get into a more advantageous area for the commit. He loses about 700 HP for the trouble. Jockey looks like he's repositioning up top. This is going to be the tank commit. Gets a punch onto Rochelle. Charger's punching Rochelle too. They're just double teaming Rochelle. Rochelle gets in -capped. Charger actually dies. Moker and Jockey are the only support up. Gets a pull onto Coach. Tank takes it. Uh, another punch onto Coach too. A third punch. Uh, he whiffs a punch here. He's still at 2k HP. Another punch onto Coach. Another punch onto Coach. It's going to be an in cap. There's only two survivors up. And there is a Jockey and a Smoker. Oh, the Jockey latest might be a wipe rails. Okay, so... I oh my goodness he cleared, he cleared the car he cleared the smoker with the car Ryan is not down yet he's backing up into this corner the jockey is gonna get cleared the hunter is going to land there's no way oh my goodness Nick is gonna go down right prior to getting that clear oh my goodness that was almost disastrous for team 44 biceps but MSB when the tank came in right once again when he was getting that first in cap onto i think it was rochelle in the corner right 
there was only one gun shooting him in the back. The other ones were looking to position themselves down the stairs. So he, when he got that in cap, he still had like 4.1k HP. And that's after 700 chips. So in the combined time that it took him to drop and then get that in cap, he only took like 1200 damage from the survivors. And that's just not enough to kill that tank in that area. Absolutely not. It looks like at that point when he got the first in cap rails, two of the survivors were actually more focused on the SI and not chipping the tank. Sometimes it, you need to get that SI on the commit, but sometimes if you're not shooting the tank, exactly that can happen as a wipe did occur after that. Uh, but they will be going into map three. 44 biceps going to maintain just about a 300 point lead. It's actually going to be 295 if my math is correct. I might be off a little bit. I'm uh, waiting for one more ready up. Tank's going to be at 43% and the opening attack we're going to have to deal with is going to be a smoker, jockey, boomer, and a charger. Indeed, it shall be, and our tank's gonna be at 43% here, so I think it's at the top of the top of the escalators once the survivors reach that. We'll see if that's where they decide to fight it, but honestly, MSB, okay, you're behind by 300 points. This is a huge map, usually, for both survivor sides if they're able to shut this tank down. I would say if you're 44 biceps right here, they just gotta focus on not taking as much damage on these other hits that they have prior to the tank. It's gonna be Ryan's tank for Team MSB, and they're doing just that to start. That's gonna be a smoker getting shut down. Nice try boom going out. Charger going in, but did get stumbled. Jockey manages to land for a little bit of damage onto Ellis, but that's about all they're going to get from that, aside from slowing the survivors down with some more common ship. Yeah, so just about a little bit more than 5% on the HP bonus after that opening attack. The triple boom is actually slowing survivors down. Respawns are already about to be up, uh, but this tank fight coming up here, Rails, they wait to try to get the attack they, they want, and it gets on second pass. We may see survivors hold S and fight AI. This actually attacks it to come out rail, uh, quickly. A pounce goes on to Ellis with a spit as well. The uh, smoker gets shut down. Boomer doesn't land on anything, uh, but not bad. They do get the spit, uh, the pounce spit, so they get about 11% damage on this bonus uh, before the tank spawn. Indeed, they did, and that tank is going to be up probably after one more hit the survivors have to deal with. Like you said, they could try to maybe just go back in the map, fight him down here, or fight him near the safe room if they so choose. But that spot at the top of the escalators, I personally like, just because you can kite the tank around. As long as you don't get double boomed in that area, it's very easy to kill him. But this is going to be a quad cap attempt by MSB first. Charger, Smoker, Hunter, Jockey waiting to drop down on the survivors as they're going to be trying to make their way up these escalators. It's about 3% more distance that they have to go to spawn the tank, so there should be a full quad coming in before they do that. Yes, it is. Hunter's going to pre-spawn. Actually, they're going to send it in now. Tank spawns as well. Charger lands. Does get cleared. A pole comes up front. Jockey gets M2'd and bullied around. Still alive, trying to get something. Survivors look like... Oh, the Jockey does land, but it's also cleared, but the tank is too far away to make a play on it. And now we're going to see survivors go backwards, as this will be the third tank of the of the game for Mad Sad Bad, and will be in the hands of Ryan. This is something where there are a bunch of areas in running distance for the survivors here that really help them out. They could fight it at the top of the escalator, as I mentioned before, but they've decided to fight it down here in the food court area, which is also extremely good for survivors, as long as they don't get pulled forward. Or if they get randomly boomed, that smoker is not quite in the spawn queue yet, though, as we saw that charger die and the one boom go out. I think they probably want Smoker Jockey Hunter as Ryan is crouch walking his tank closer to the survivors behind the kiosk here, keeping a little bit of sight. They're probably gonna have that Hunter go back and get more health if at all possible. There's still a couple common trickling in, but that's gonna be the commit from Ryan as he works his way inside. Jockey Smoker Hunter coming in. Hunter is going to die as Evoker got that beautiful ski, but there's the pull into the first corner onto Antax over here. There's the in cap. Jockey's still looking to help out as well as that Smoker pull goes in. Tank's gonna be throwing a rock at the survivors, landing it onto Nick, and the Jockey lands onto Rochelle for a split second as well. E-Rock going around the corner, not gonna land an MK. That's kind of what you expect in that area. Only one down and a bit more going out from that tank. Yeah, it's pretty standard on the commit there. He did do, a, like you said, a good job on getting that in-cap. Smoker actually almost missed the survivor and went through that little fence area. If it was just a second longer, he, he wouldn't even have had that. So it was a good job on the Smoker doing that, capitalizing. The 2-2 attack is usually after the tank. It'll be a Charger and Hunter to accompany the, the uh, non-cappers. A proxy boom goes out. Charger tries to land, doesn't get it, but there is pounce onto Rochelle. And that's going to be a lot of spit damage onto Rochelle as well. That'll take the bonus all the way down to 800, but if your team 44 biceps rails, I think they're still sitting pretty good at a bonus of 801 right now. Exactly. So long as they're able to keep moving forward here, because this is zone mod 1.9.16, right? They're going to be able to hold out the entirety of that event 
instead of pushing up the escalator when there's a hit. So they honestly are probably going to go forward here, start the event, and then maybe take a hit in this side room, force the SI to get some kind of damage there prior to them being able to go forward, which I think is the right call here because now it's what? Smoker Charger, Jockey for MSB. They might get a spitter for this and be able to hit there, but actually they're going now. Jockey going out in the back, getting M2'd by Nick. Charger goes out onto Nick as well, managing to land, but the survivors could actually push off of this, and I think that's what they're going to do. Yeah, uh, since they did take an attack, they'll probably go to the second floor and wait there for another attack to come in. Spitter could delay it if he chooses, uh, but for the most part, I think they're going to be able to take the second floor. Uh, 135 more common to go, and actually it looks like they're going to go all the way up rails, but there's going to be a spit delay. This is a... Now they're going to be separated while the, uh, while the spawns are coming in. It's going to be a Hunter, Jockey, and a Boomer. They'll only have a two-cap. This is big. If they can land it, Hunter is getting chipped down. Looks like he's not going to be able to land. He's trying, but he gets shut down. Jockey tries to land on someone above and gets bullied. It gets Toby McGuire and shut down. Honestly, this is something where I understand why they sent the hit the way they did down below, but after they sent that charger in with everything there, they kind of forfeited their ability to get what they wanted for that escalator, and I think 44 Biceps read that perfectly on Survivor's side. They have a chance now to get some kind of hit, but this is another area, once again, on this third map that is so survivor sided. They can sit here, honestly, for the entire event, kill everything that they need to, and as long as they don't get charged off behind them, they'll be in great, great shape going into this, and... That's something where I don't know if the SI would have benefited by saving, but this Charger is going to go in, trying to get something. Spit's going to go down on nothing. Boomer is also going to die. MK, this game is happening at 44 biceps pace right now. Exactly. Before this event started, Rails, let's make note that they had 801 bonus. They just popped a set of pills, so they lost 35 or 30 points for the pills, but they only took 100 bonus for this whole event. And that's actually really impressive. They just uh, pushed through that event, and then they were even. 2-2 at one point, so it was very impressive by then. Hunter looks like they're going to come from behind. It's actually going to be a quad cap attempt. Charge actually gets a, two, a nice charge from the behind. And one slam goes out. A pounce as well. Two slams go out. Jockey's trying to land on something, but can't. Wow. This kid's constantly bullied around, but look at that bonus. It got affected pretty good there, Rails. Just about 200 points off the bonus. That's the first time in like the past three hits, I think, that it felt as though MSB were hitting when they wanted to. The other times they were trying to hit, they were trying to hit fast. They were trying to get in front of the survivors, but that's the one that actually managed to do damage. That was very close to a devastating triple or quad cap going out, and it did enough on its own with those charger slams plus that jockey to have one survivor now permanently slow for 44 biceps as they work up this escalator. Let's see if they're managing to get another in-cap on the special infected side, especially because there's one survivor still behind. They have a 2-2 here, Charger, Spitter, Smoker, Boomer. This can still do a decent amount of damage. That Smoker pull, though, is not going to land. Charger is going for a survivor behind. Not going to land as well. Spit goes down on nothing, and it's just a one-boom right now, MK, that'll allow the survivors to get just outside the safe room. Yeah, they are crawling. Uh, there's a good possibility they can have a rolling attack when they come in. They won't be able to set up. It'll just be scratches if possible because Ellis is slow right now most of the bonus is on Nick and coach right now so they're gonna just go in actually they might not even get it at all no they're gonna make the save from rails with a nice bonus of 388 I believe is what they're gonna roll in with with a chapter score of 992 and a campaign score of 1919 this is honestly a score that I think we could see MSB matching but it comes down to not making an error on that tank. It's an extremely survivor-sided fight, regardless of where they decide to take it. But the best bet for 44 biceps there is probably going to be that open field three cap with that smoker, jockey, and hunter. They could try to have a boomer as well, but even a one boom in that area gets shut down pretty well because the survivors have so much room just to shoot the common. First hit's already going to be going out here, though, with that one boom landing onto the survivors in the safe room. The smoker's going to die. Jockey's going in, getting bully circled for his trouble, and now this charger is going to go in and get a triple charge in the safe room with a pound. I was not expecting that MK, but... Good on Burrs for making that work. Yeah, it looks like no damage on the board by any person ex except um, for uh, SZRV gets the only damage, all with his charger getting a two charge and a slam because Ellis was reloading his gun at the time that charge went off. That was a very good job on the special effect to capitalize on that. They do have a 2-2 two -two, though since the charger did die last and the boomer first, so Smoker and Hunter to accompany them as they take this next choke point. And actually Hunter looks like he's going to come from the bottom, but... Survivors are going to take this very cautiously and clear all the commons before they're going to make any attempt on progressing on this map. This is going to be a 2-2, and the survivors can just kind of drop down here. They are going to jump into that hunter, though, who lands 
for a split second. The spit, however, is a little off as that double boom goes in. Smoker is also going to get cleared. Spitter dropping in to die last as the survivors fight their way through a bit of common. Ellis is in the back still kind of clearing Horde, but once again, the survivors have such space here to work. They're going to be able to get the tank up in pretty short order, and then they'll be able to drop back. It's going to be Antax's tank as well for 44 biceps, trying to make the most that he can in this area. If for whatever reason he's able to get a lot of damage or a wipe, that could almost seal the game. That's a nice skeet going out, but that charger is going to land for two pounds. On to Ellis in the back, and the jockey lands on the WWAK Rochelle in the front for just a bit more damage, MK. Pretty good attacks, I'd say, from 44 biceps so far on this map. Let's see if their tank can make any kind of work here. Indeed, they'll have two survivors that are going to be less than three punches. Two of them will be four on this commit. Um, so they have that going for the infected. They probably might see them focus the two low ones if possible. It's going to be a little tough to get in here as they have to come from pretty far away. Uh, Hunter, Smoker, and a Boomer. So he has a retro attack right now. Probably should see maybe the Boomer go in as he's at first pass, 40% and dropping, only taking about 100 chip. Indeed, the Boomer's going to go in and sack himself, so he's going to wait as long as he can. I'm going to be interested here, Rails, if he's not able to keep sight here when it goes to second pass. If they go backwards, it could be dangerous for this tank. Indeed it could, but the survivors are looking to stay pretty much right where they're at. As the tank is working his way towards these kiosks, the SI are going to be coming from behind, it would seem. Aside from that smoker pull in the front to set up some pins for this tank. Smoker's looking for the pull, but the survivors are out of range. Charger goes in, though, and gets a beautiful double charge with the pounce landing onto Rochelle at the same point in time. It's a triple cap going out onto Team MSB. Antax doing work on this tank, and he still has 3k. The Smoker is going to get cleared now as the tank retargets there, throwing a rock in, but he just needs to be patient with this. Two survivors versus the tank trying to get this kill, but his tank still has 2,000 HP, looking for that next set of spawns. If this next set of spawns comes up, this could easily be a wipe for 44 biceps. Tank is still jumping around as the Boomer and Jockey are still in the queue. Hunter is up now as well. The tank only has 400 HP left. Gonna be throwing a rock in, landing it almost onto Rochelle as that pounce is gonna land with that one boom going out. Tank throwing a rock at Coach, not gonna land it, and he is going to die. MK, what do you make of his decision to wait for that next hit when he had 3k HP left? I know what he was trying to think for uh, trying to get support up. At that point, I think I might have just tried to get one more than let the SI clean it up. But the survivors did a great job on shutting down that attack with only two up and managing to survive. Uh, but they still have one survivor down to get up. It should be another set of pills committed when they go. So they'll only have two sets to go forward and look at that bonus we can't really get a good number on it because they haven't picked everybody up yet but the tricap is going in jockey man oh! land. the pole lands on the same one charger does miss but gets a fist before he dies and the attack will be shut down but the bonus goes down another 70 points but let, we still won't know what it will be after they get everybody up so everybody's up now let's see they pop their pills and now their bonus is going to be at 433 from this point out actually 403 and no more pills from this point on rails yeah, even though they still have that 400 HP, they are going to be all bleeding as that Hunter jumps in. It does get skeeted eventually, but this is just glorious infected play, honestly, from 44 biceps, making something out of nothing in that area. Almost, they actually had a triple cap land with a double charge on that SI support, and that is such a support-driven tank. It's all because they found the survivors into the exact area that they wanted them to be, and they were able to send all the SI from behind gang stumbles galore and just that double charge that made everything so much easier for their tank. And even if they take this event perfectly, if they decide to wait out at all MK, they have all four bleeding. That is huge for the SI to capitalize on. Yeah, they have no they they have to press on. I think almost if you're the SI here and they wait in that room, I would almost be content to just letting them wait the whole thing in there. Just so they have four survivors slow for the rest of the map. And it actually looks like they want to go forward, but the attack company is going to be a quad cap attempt. So this is even more of a reason for survivors to wait. And Rails, if I'm infected, I would be content with waiting to solve it, but they're not going to go in. They're going to go with the smoker. Smoker dies, and they're just going to hold the other three. Probably to get a spitter, but, but survivors are going to press on here, Rails. This is going to be very dangerous. This is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation for MSB. If they wait in that room, they all bleed. If that smoker is dead now, they run into Horde with that bit higher ping. Charger's gonna go in trying to land, not gonna get it, however. Jockey does land. 
for a couple of jerks on Rochelle in the back, but that's going to be it as they keep pushing their way up. Spit Delay is going to go out, but look at this here, MK. Just with that common damage and in this time, they basically shut that hit down, but they have four people slow at this point, only one set of pills. Yes, indeed, and look at that bonus. It has dropped down to 269, and most of the bonus left is all DB, so anybody who gets hit, there's going to be points coming off the board. A pull tries to go out, misses on the coach, not able to get the hang. Hunter is in the front. Boomer's unable to get a, a rocket spawn, and the jockey does spawn with the Hunter. They're going, and the jockey fell off by mistake. Hunter gets shut down. Smoker is trickling in from behind for just a tick onto Rochelle, and that's another attack shut down rails, and only 19% off that, so I think Mad Sad Bad might be able to get into this room and shut off this event. Indeed they might. This is a 600 distance map that we're looking at here, so if we give them full distance, right, they're going to have about 1,200 off that with a little bit more bonus. It's still possible for them to win on this scavenge finale, but they're going to have to do serious work. This is not helping their case, however, with that shard spit going in onto Healy, dropping their bonus down to 96 prior to that revive but they're only going to have damage bonus left, and they're still just having to limp their way through the map for any of these distance points. The advantage and all the momentum really is on the side of 44 biceps going into this finale, and they would need to really, really... I mean, at this point, if we're being 100% about it, it is 44 biceps game to lose. They would have to pretty much throw the finale to be in any situation where they could lose this game. And because these survivors are slow, you're seeing the hits get faster from 44 biceps. They send in that three cap with the boom there's still 126 bonus to msp's name but mk there's two survivors who are just at one hp right now and there's probably two or three more hits in this map for them to deal with yes and i don't think they're going to be able to make it out of the out of this room so so, so in fact and most likely it looks like they're actually just going to all go up ahead doesn't i don't see anything coming from behind maybe the jockey might choose but they're actually going to go in charger comes up from the buff not able to get anything boomer gets popped Bitter is just pretty much all by himself now, so even though they have two survivors, one health, they managed to shut it down rails pretty well, and most important is that they can actually take two more downs because nobody's black and white. Well, that is actually going to knock Ryan into the black and white range there, but they only down one survivor who is at that one HP because if you notice how slowly... Ellis is going right now. That is the pace that the rest of this team is going to have to match. He's looking all around, trying to find the spot to where NESI are going to spawn. But there's that boomer going out onto him. Spit goes down for a little bit of damage. Hunter is going to pounce in, then run, then wall kick onto him for that in cap plus a little bit more. But this is the issue now because Healy is going to be almost at 1 HP soon. And MSP just really can't move any faster than that. There does the spit go in, but the survivor being coach is able to jump on top of the kiosk and not actually get in cap from it. But now he's at 1 HP as the charger goes in from the back, gets the in cap, and then does die. This is turning into a how fast can the SI hit and troll the in cap situation as that spit is now going to go in getting a little bit more damage onto Ellis, but it's almost constant attacking MK because of how slow the survivors are. Yes, so somehow they are going to still press on forward, and actually, I don't know how Rails, but they managed to hold on to that sliver of 38 bonus, so if they can actually get down this last stretch here, there is a slight possibility they make it with a, a bonus, but the Infected are going to have other plans for that, as it's going to be a Smoker, Charger, Hunter, and I think there's a good possibility it might be a claw, but Charger misses. Go for a Charger. Pull goes on to Nick. Nick is now dead. Jockey is coming in from behind. Hunter is coming from the front. Jockey oh. actually able to get a kill and a cap. And this might be a wipe, and indeed it will be. They will not be able to make the save from. They're just 19 points shy of the full distance. Their total chapter score, 581. Campaign score, 1213. And right now, Team uh, 44 Biceps has 1919, so they have a commanding lead just about... What is that, 700 points? For yeah, 706 points in the favor of 44 biceps, and this is a 700-point finale. The only thing that could really save MSB here is if they somehow get a miracle wipe from this first tank that's going to spawn as soon as the survivors hit the floor in the elevator. I mean, it's doable, but it's something where, once again, kind of like we saw on 44 biceps' tank last map, right? Like, it's going to be support-driven. It's a huge, wide-open area. And they've done a really good job controlling this game, both on Survivor and Special Infected so far. So MSB are going to have to really, really pull something out here in order to keep this competitive. It's going to be Healy's tank as well. Spitter, Hunter, Jockey, Boomer, 2-2 for this first hit. Hunter going for the wall kick. Nice skeet, though, going out. 
five Vers assisted by both F and Antax. As that Boomer gets shut down, Jockey gets M2, and it's just a little bit of spit damage for that first hit. Yeah, they survivors did a good job taking that 2-2 very well. They're going to be able to make it to the elevator before spawns are up. I'm curious to see what kind of tank we'll see here, because earlier today, Rails, we saw a tank go out and play Rock, and he actually got six infected attacks before he committed and still had 4,800 HP on the commit. So I'm curious to see what will happen here. This, the attack the, the attack they're going to deal with is Hunter, Spitter, Smoker, and a Charger when they open the elevator, Rails. That is something that would be wild to see. If a tank is able to get like six heads and still have 4,800 HP to commit with, that is... That is one hell of a rock tank going out. And honestly, MSB could try the rock tank angle here, but they're going to try to get some damage in this elevator first. Charger, Smoker, Spitter, Hunter for this hit. Let's see if the Spitter spits directly in front. For any kind of damage, that Charger goes in, gets a punch, and does start a double charge, but he's not able to complete it as that Spitter goes down. And Healy is going to have the last tank, potentially, of the game for MSB. It's either the last tank or the penultimate tank, depending on how this goes. Something I will say here that I haven't quite figured out is exactly what happens with the Horde when the survivors move the cans. There have been some points that I've seen like a huge amount of common explode when the survivors move the cans, and other times they've moved cans across the entire map and but they got nothing. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, looks like he's right now he's just keeping rage for his spawn to come up. It's going to be a jockey smoker boomer. They're actually going to go in. Jockey tries to land. I think Jockey's going alone, but Rocket Boom follows, but both attacks are shut down. I think it was just a scratch. Smoker goes out for a long pull onto Coach. And that is his support down, and he's first uh, pass, 40% and dropping. I hate to say it, but it seems as though MSB's SI is a little bit discombobulated just, I think, the past couple rounds. But right there, for example, right, they send that smoker in last. That means that I don't think they're going to get one for the actual commit. Hunter and Charger in this area, it's workable, but you think that smoker is a really big part of this. Jockey for the third spawn here, so no boomer, no smoker, and this tank's going to be forced to commit MK with what you usually see being a good room three cap in a pretty wide open area. Yeah, actually, it looks like they're going to try to sack something, maybe? This is uh. dangerous. 40% rage. Nope, he's going to go in. Charger just pre-spawns up above. He's going in right now. Hunter gets an early pounce. He's going to take that as the, the um, pull, pull guy, but he throws a rock, gets another punch onto Brichel. Tank is down to half health. Switches target, whiffs a punch onto, onto Ellis. Gets a punch onto Ellis. A nice charge goes out. Jockey is trying to intercept the charge. And is not able to. Gets M2 and gets cleared. So right now this is a lone tank at 500 HP and he's not going to get anything else rails. It's a dead tank. That is a dead tank, as you just said, and that was what I was kind of worried about. Ironically, the Charger was able to land, but then that Jockey was not able to get the intercept there. Nick doing a really good job of dancing with that Jockey. Imagine to get the shot still onto the Charger, then getting the M2. The Hunter went in early for that first corner, but the problem is in an area that is as wide open as this, we saw the tank make the right play, throw the rock first and the punch, then the Survivor simply just got hit away. This is a good deal of separation, though, up here. With that smoker pull going out onto Ellis for a good amount of damage, plus the can burn that we just saw. Three cans are already in, though, for the survivors, as they are still split, but their health did take a good amount of damage there, and the Charger gets a beautiful oh. double charge onto the survivors, but that spit is now going to go down onto Ellis, AK Antax, who is going to be slow. This is a really good job by MSB just to get some damage after the tank. Hunter is going to land as well. Coach is going to get the long range clear, but they're just rolling damage onto the survivors right now. Yeah, the bonus is going down much quickly, much faster than when the tank actually committed. So he's doing a great job with their SIs, uh, but survivors are getting actually getting cans together. The one that they burned on the second floor, they now got it again down on the bottom next to the other uh, two on the first floor. Um, the attack is coming up. Jockey, Smoker, Boomer, and a Charger. Jockey's trying to get Rochelle, gets M2 to shut down. Charger misses on Nick, but gets a fist. The pull doesn't get anything as well, but there is a two boom going out. And that'll be the attack shut down again. Now they're going to get some more cans in rails. Yeah, and the biggest thing about this was that the survivors killed the spitter. The spitter did not try to save itself by staying on the fourth floor to play any kind of can defense. And now the survivors are making quick work of the rest of these cans. They're already at seven. Spitter is in the queue now for the SI. Hunter, Smoker, and Jockey for the rest of the hit. Hunter's going to be bouncing around, going for Rochelle. We do see the Smoker pull go out as that pounce lands, and there's a Jockey onto Ellis into a can burn on that scaffolding. 
but the survivors are gonna be able to put one more can in to bring that total to eight. They're looking to kill that spitter as well, not quite able to find it as Ellis is gonna put this in. They have four sets of pills on their bodies and that's the only health that they actually have left because the other four sets have already been committed. This is an interesting juncture now because this actually might be the second tank for Team MSB before the survivors can get any more cans in or before they try to. Yeah, it looks like the survivors are content with waiting for this tank fight to come up. There doesn't look like they're going to make a move, and there it will be. This will be the final tank of the map for Mad Sad Bad in WW. WW will have the second tank, as it's only possible on this map, on the finale, because there is two tanks, and it looks like he's just going to get to higher ground, taking minimal chip. Actually, a pretty decent amount, about 350, a little bit more than that before he goes in. What happens here is that Team 44 Biceps needs to die for MSB to have any chance to win. Because what MSB are going to have to do is they're going to have to make absolute, ridiculously quick work of these cans on Survivor side, probably without any can burns. And this is all hypothetical because, honestly, the Survivors, they can be bled out decently here by this tank, but if they survive this and they make this finale, that's just game over right there, I'm fairly sure. That's going to be the Jockey landing on a coach for a bit of damage, and there's a Rock going in on Vares as well. That's going to keep the tank on first pass. Really unfortunate for Team 44 Biceps there, and he almost ate another rock as that went in. Now they have to be careful because they're going to only have one set of pills left after Varus commits that set that he has. Yes, indeed. This is That was actually the second attack for this tank, doing a good job on actually not able to keep Rage. He's getting LOS pretty hard. Looks like they're going to go in for another one. Not able to land it. A pull does go out with a one boom onto the pull target. and see if this rock's able to land or his first pass will be gone, and that will be it. So... He looks like he's going to get three SI attacks during this, this tank he has, but this might be the commit here, Rails. I don't, don't think he has a choice after this. I don't think he does either. It would have been more ideal if he'd been able to wait for that bleed to continue on to the survivors, but he's going to jump in from the right-hand side, throwing a rock around this pillar. Not quite going to land it. Hunter and Jockey are his two supports right now, but nice job by the tank to jump on top of the information booth and punch Nick there. Rock going out, not gonna land. He actually misses the punch onto Rochelle. He's gonna jump in and off the ladder, throwing another rock, not gonna land it though. This is heartbreaking for Team MSB. He's gonna keep punching Rochelle around, but he needs to find a way potentially to get out. He's under 1K HP, missing that rock as well. And that is not what Team MSB were looking for from this tank fight so far. He's down to 418 HP, but the survivors are definitely not dead. No, indeed. He does manage to get out, but he really doesn't have much that he can contribute with. And now that the survivors know he's almost dead, they're going to go for cans. And they will not have a spitter to delay them with this tank alive. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it. Boomer's going to try to get a one boom, but just gets shut down. Um, again, he did manage to get four attacks. A nice pounce goes on to Rochelle, but it gets cleared. But all in all, they needed the wipe, not as more damage than that, Rails. Okay, so the survivors are slow. Tank jumps in and ledge hangs Ellis with a punch. He is going to die, but Rochelle's gonna get pulled by this smoker. That's two survivors down, and now the horde should be restarting. Nice job right there at the end by WW to get that in cap. Spit goes down on those two cans below. That is a nice play by Team MSB. They're keeping their hopes of surviving this alive in terms of them still being able to win the game, but now the survivors are going to have to get cans in from the opposite side of the map and they're going to have a horde and full hits to deal with if they can just manage to eke this out and pour those in that's pretty much guaranteed victory but msp are going to do everything they can to stop them they're quite separated as well right now um there is a charger boomer um and a smoker they're going after two of the survivors on the one side one gets secured the charger actually accidentally misses and goes all the way to the bottom boomer proxies out a gas can while a pull goes out into rochelle and they're actually going to be two downs, and they're extremely separated. I think they might die over there, though. What a smoker pull as well by Quark Lones onto Rochelle, pulling her all the way inside that room and preventing a clear from going out. And now there's the charge going out as well onto Nick. The spitter is going to spit down on those two cans, but there's the can juggle going in by Nick to get those cans out of harm's way. The jockey is still up, as is the smoker. They killed the spitter as this jockey is going to go in, landing onto Nick, and there's the clear going out onto the jockey right before that happens, but there's going to be common all around Nick, preventing him from getting in. What a tongue cut, though, going out with that 200-some ping. They're going to try to be getting this next can in. Boomer is going to drop in, managing to land a single boom onto Nick. Hunter is still delaying, but the common are going to go up, knocking Nick in the back, and there is Coach shooting the can 
for the burn. So that is essentially going to be the wipe going out. And okay, with that last survivor getting downed by the fire there, this is doable still for Team MSB. It sounds weird because of how they've played so far in this match, but remember, it's 700 distance points for all the cans, and then they only need about a 450 bonus. That is in the realm of doable, but it really, really depends on them not taking a whole lot of damage at this first tank, MK. It's going to be all down to that. Indeed, you are correct, but something to note there, Rails, basically, since they just died like that, they got no cans after the tank, so that basically was a tank wipe. That's basically what just happened there. Exactly. 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 Yeah. And and the thing is, that spitter is so crucial to this because if the survivors screw up in any way with those cans being placed in the wrong section, that is a huge opportunity for the SI to just stop them from making any progress whatsoever. There's a jockey landing after the hunter, the spitter pre spat there and was not quite able to sync up with his two pinners as the survivors make their way out of the safe room. Spitter is still alive. They're trying to wall the Spitter, but the Spitter is not quite going to die. Getting a little bit more spit damage, actually, for its trouble across the side. The survivors are trying to wall this as well, but this is a question now to, okay, you're going to have this tank up in the hands of Verz. Are they going to be able to get a decent amount of damage with it, or is it going to be a shutdown? It really depends on what they're looking to do. Was it a rock tank? Is it going to be a commit? But the Spitter is going to die now. And if I'm Team 44 Biceps, you don't have to really feel the pressure quite yet because you most likely have two tanks to deal with this and you're forcing the MSB to get like 400 some bonus. But if this tank doesn't get like an in-cap or two at the start, that's a real, real help to MSB's case in terms of momentum. Absolutely. We're going to have a 100 pre-spawn on the bottom. They're going to have a tri-cap. Um, no smoker to, and a boomer is going to be the, uh, the non-capper that, that is going to hit with this attack before this tank comes up. It would be the fourth tank for Team 44 Biceps into the hands of SZRV. And it looks like the attack's gonna go in for a little bit of damage, but all the survivors are gonna be actually four punches. No one's gonna be five for this tank when he comes in, uh, commits, and he's gonna have to wait a little few more seconds for his other two cappers to help to accompany this boomer. Still on gray spirit at the moment. That boomer's gonna jump in and is going to die. Tank's gonna start up right above the survivors, but this is also 1.9.16, so these distance Uzis can do a whole lot of damage from range. And uh, this is something where you can afford to take some chip. That's a beautiful ski going out by Healy onto that hunter with that rock getting skeeted. And now the survivors, I think they could honestly just LOS it here instead of going for that chip. But it's actually doing a fair amount of damage, MK, as I mentioned before. Yeah, I think right now they know that they can't take much damage. Rocket charge goes in, just gets a fist onto coach. Nothing else goes in. Uh, no other support right now. He does take about 415 chip. I think right now it's not a bad idea to chip him, especially now that it's second pass. They might not know that, but I want this tank as low as he can before he commits here. And right now, the boomer is going to be accompanied by the jockey, and the last spawn is going to be a hunter. So not the best setup. They're going to send a jockey and gets m by Coach. Shot in the face. Jockey misses. Co uh, Rock also misses as well. And I'm not sure what he's going to do here, Rails. He's going to have to go in with only two uh, SI. They want a smoker, and he's doing a great job right now of peeking the survivors around this pillar for sight, but they've gotten wise to it and are pounding him right back with those bullets. Those distances, he's doing a fair amount of chip. Over 11% to his health right now. Boomer drops in and does die. Okay, so it's a smoker and a hunter, and the tank is guaranteed to need sight right now, and his health is just steadily dropping. Survivors are going to get ammo off of this too. And they're going to be able to back into a very, very wide open area where they know it's probably going to be early supports coming from the SI to get him any kind of help in that spot. But he's down to just under 5k right now prior to his commit. And he's going to be rolling in right now with that getting absolutely shredded by those Uzis. Hunter's going to go in onto Rochelle, gets immediately cleared. Charger lands a single charge. It does get cleared as well. Tank has punched Rochelle, and that actually might be the only damage he can currently get as he's already working his way out. He's down to 2k HP MK, and this has been great for MSB so far. And they took that very well. He only got a punch um, from the, t the hunted target. Like you said, he's down to 2k, but most important, when this tank, uh, before he committed there, the health bonus was 404, and right now they're at 1303 with less than a half health tank. There's a good chance, Rails, that if they could shut down this, this commit here, that they go into this... Uh, uh, to the collecting these cans with that hefty bonus, but the jockey's actually gonna go in. Looks like they're gonna go for a rock. Hunter gets skeeted, rock gets skeeted, and the boomer's the only SI up right now. And again, this tank only has 35% rage uh, rails. I think he's, he might die here. 
he's gonna have to keep peeking for sight the exact same way he did prior to his first commit. But this boomer is gonna spawn up and does manage to miss the arc boom, dropping to the back there. Rochelle kiting him around the small what was it the information tablet there, the information board for Liberty Mall. And I mean, the tank's doing a great job now of keeping sight, but the problem is the survivors aren't bleeding, they have no pills committed, and now they're just gonna LOS a little bit more, and the tank is going to die probably after one or two more hits, because the survivor is gonna be wise to the fact that not only is he low as hell, but he's also low as hell on sight. This is gonna be the commit here, the SI spawn from the above, he's going in, gets a charge, gets a pull, Jockey gets shut down, Actually, the tank might get a punch. The smoke has not been cleared, but nope, that's going to be a dead tank. tank they do, up. they do manage to do seventy more damage to the to the survivors before that tank died. But right now, Mad Sad Bad in a commanding lead. No sets of pills need to be popped. Health at 88, 63, 62, and sixty nine rails. This is something where now they're going to have to kill the spitter. Because the thing is, if they drop a bunch of cans down below and they just immediately get spat on, that is going to be not what they need whatsoever. And the spitter has already spawned. Missing the snipe, though, onto that can that was on top of the information kiosk. Double boom is going to go out in the back. Hunter's going and landing a 25 damage pounds on Ryan. He just separated himself with his Uzi. I'm not 100% sure why he did that. But the survivors now are going to be trying to find their way in. That is going to be a can burn with one can getting reset back to that second level. A little bit more damage than you'd like to see, honestly, just because of that DP that went out onto Ryan. But he's gonna be trying to put more cans in now. Charger's gonna drop in, not managing to land. Nice job by Ryan, kiting him around on the top of the Jimmy Gibbs stock car. But now the jockey's gonna land onto him as well. He's getting abused right now through the first part of this finale. That's gonna be a full in cap on him from that jockey, oh my goodness. Yeah, survivors are getting a little ballsy, separating uh, a little too much. That spitter is still alive, raiding havoc down on the can. Indeed, he goes for another spit, so Ellis is going to throw the cans away, but look at that health bonus dropping so much. They do manage to get the pick up just right now. The bonus goes back up to 804, but they need about uh, 467, I think, is the exact amount rails, and they're not going to be able to get in. The high pounce goes out, but it does miss. Gets another, uh, eventually a pounce onto Ellis, but it gets cleared. Charger just fist. Uh, Ellis one time, don't know why the charge didn't land, but that would be the attack shutdown, and that spitter is still alive with nine health rails. Yeah, and that was a lot more damage than you'd like to see if you're MSB, just from that first sequence of trying to pour cans. The spitter is chipped, but it's all the way on the fourth floor. This already might be close to the second tank spawning, believe it or not, just because of how much delay has gone out. And there's Ryan getting abused again by a jockey that time into the corner around the same spot. 720 bonus left for Team MSB. Tank is now also going to be up with one can less than what we saw or maybe two cans less actually than what we saw for Team 44 Biceps on their survivor side. It's up in the hands of Evoker, and the Spitter is finally going to die. Great job by Antax playing that can defense, and now the survivors have a couple choices to make. They have to kill another tank, and then they're going to have to preserve what bonus they have left, because if they lose another 240 bonus, I think this game is over. Yes, indeed, and they actually they're going to have to go to four cans on the top floor, and they still have three cans on the second floor, so even if they kill this tank, they still have a lot of map to progress through. For granted, they do have two sets of pills standing, plus the, the four on their person. They do got quite a bit, but they cannot take much damage. A pull goes out, and then Pounce lands as well. Both are cleared relatively quickly. A rock does land onto Coach. Yes, it did count too. It wasn't just a rage rock, so that helps out a lot. Bonus is now down to 663 rails. They only have about less than 200 bonus left they can flirt with and lose, and this game will be over. They should honestly, in this position, I would be trying to go for those cans right now because there's no spitter. This tank's gonna bleed them as much as he possibly can. And I mean, the tank can commit and can probably get shut down in the same way, but you give 44 biceps a lot more chances to do damage with it. And right now, that hunter's gonna go in, managing to land a pounce with that double boom going in, jockey going in as well getting m 2 for its troubles, but once again, Evoker doing a good job of keeping sight here. On second pass now, though, throwing that rock in, not gonna land. He might actually be forced to commit in, but if you're MSB, you really can't afford to take any more than even an in cap, and that might be enough to seal it for 44 biceps anyway, so... Not a whole lot of pressure for a wipe or anything like that, but here comes Evoker, jumping on top of the information kiosk, jumping down, looking to get Ellis, but not finding anything quite yet, pushing Rochelle instead, but not finding anything! Smoker pull does go out, that's a punch going out onto Ryan, and now there is Common randomly coming in onto Ellis, it would seem, 
as that Hunter lands onto Rochelle. Rock going in, landing on Ryan as well. Punch going out onto him in a second, but the tank is actually not able to find it. He is going to die, but this bonus MK, we see it's already as far down as it is, and I think that seals the game for Team 44 Biceps. Yeah, indeed it does. They have all their pills now. Unfortunately, they have to pop on the bonus goes down to 284. So now it'll just be Team Mad had trying to show a little bit better face here, try to get their score a little bit higher. Um, they did do a pretty good job. Unfortunately, their separation on this finale when getting those can rails were big. I think they should have just stayed together and taken slow. They tried it too much too quick. Charger goes out, mails. A jockey lands for a minute, gets, gets cleared. A tri boom goes out, and the spitter's going to hold himself to delay the cans. Indeed he is, but that's going to be Antax playing the can defense once again. The 44 biceps are going to be moving into the sixth round of the quarantine anniversary tournament with their record at 4-1. and one. This will drop MSB 2-3-2 two, and two as they still try to get as many of these cans in as they possibly can. But at the same point in time, they've survived the second tank, but they still have a lot of work to do with seven cans still to put in. Spit's going to go down onto the two cans on the side. Not going to quite reach it, however, as Nick is going to get pulled off of this bridge, off of the walkway, as the rest of his team work their way. And the spitter is now also dead. So the survivors are going to be tossing those cans down to the first floor and then trying to put the rest of them in. As you said, pretty much just to save face. And if they complete the finale, that is honestly good on them. But you have to wonder about really mad. Map 3, I think, was the map that they could have done a lot better on had they been able to just shut down that tank support in that area. They took a lot of damage early and pretty much bled out the rest of the map. So great job by 44 Biceps, especially on their infected side, to bring this game home for them. The jockey gets shut down. Two Boom goes out. Hunter looks like he's going to go for a DP when cans are, are going to be put in. Going to want to land that 25. Here he goes. Actually, he falls off by mistake, taking... Actually, no chip. The guns did miss, but... Probably just going to wait for a support. Smoker, three more seconds for the other ones to come in. Smoker does pre-spawn up top. And it's going to be a spitter and a charger. So there, the pull goes out. It's on to Rochelle. Gets cleared. Hunter decides to go for a DP. Gets skeeted by Rochelle. Charger gets a rocket charge. Lands onto Nick, but it's cleared before it hits his destination. And they actually get the spitter now. I think actually, just like you said, Rails, I think there's a good chance they might actually make this. Just with not enough bonus. Yeah, it's going to be on Coach maybe to go to the side and pick up those two cans that are fairly far away on that second floor. They are going to be the last two that the survivors have to get. Ellis is actually limping his way over there as well, as we see Coach maybe trying to join him here. But the entire hit might just be on Mr. Quark Jones in the corner over here. But there is a pounce landing on to Nick. Charger goes in, looking to land on to Ellis and does now find it. There's the jockey going out as the rest of Team MSB are trying to get closer to their compatriots. But instead, Ellis is getting pounded to death by this charger as Coach just now makes his way over. And that's almost a full death onto Ellis, but it's actually not going to be quite the wipe yet as Rochelle was able to stay alive on the other part of the map. Last two cans getting Chuck over the side here. But there is a spitter up, MK, in the hands of F. There's the in cap going out onto Rochelle, and the can burn is not going to reach as Ellis gets pulled off the side. That is going to be just Coach left up for Team MSB, trying his damnedest to put the rest of his team back together. Oh, nice boomer pop. Stumbles the Hunter as well. Hunter's going to try to go in to delay this or maybe get a pounce. Nope, he's just going to stay alive. They are going to be able to get up one of the survivors. Hunter takes a little bit of chip, uh, but Coach t goes downstairs, try to get up um, Ellis, but there is a charger above. Comes in for a rocket spawn, does get get up um, Coach. One slam, does get cleared. Looks like Rochelle's in cap far away. A two cap almost lands. Jockey gets M2 to Oh, the cap! Oh, the cap burns! So that is so unfortunate for the survivors. Spit goes down as well, landing onto Nick, and that is almost the wipe. Where is the M2? I can feel it coming, and it's not going to land, but the death spit is. That is the wipe. That is the wipe going on to Team MSB by Team 44 Biceps. Congratulations to Team 44 Biceps. They moved to four and one through five rounds of the quarantine anniversary tournament. Commiserations to MSB, hard-fought game, especially there at the end, but it's going to be those two chapters prior to this, MK, where they had the the largest delta, I think, open up, where they could have gotten more points on map 2 and map 3 especially. Yes, indeed. Actually, there was some pretty uh, impressive infected play with these tank commits, so it was very entertaining to watch, when, especially when you see these high-tier uh, Left 4 Dead players playing. You could always see stuff like that happen, which is something I'm a big, big fan about, so 
And it was also an honor to cast this match with you, Rails. It was really a, a lot of fun. <laughs> so am I. Indeed it was. And I think we're going to be seeing a couple other round five matches. What would it be, tomorrow? Or is this actually the last day? Um, I think we have another day. one at 10.30. Do we have one more? No, I think I'm looking at the wrong one. No, never. Yep, that's it. That's it. I was looking at the Haunted Forest one. I had the wrong thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, all right then. Uh, I'll say that it's been awesome to cast this match alongside UMK. Thank you, Dufanel, for streaming, for the organizers doing what they do. Teams for playing, everyone for watching. Do you have any other uh, last minute shout outs before we send this off? Um, I can just tell you one thing, Rails. I'm excited for Dark Carnival Remix next week. That's all I wanted to throw in there. Oh yeah, that is going to be the week that decides the top 16 of this tournament, which will be a double elimination from what I've been told. Lots of teams right there on the precipice of it as well, where you have teams sitting at 3-2, and two, just trying to figure out if they can get those last couple of spots, similar to what happened with RBT5. So, it's going to be a very exciting week of matches on that custom map that's become pretty regular, I'd say, in the competitive community. Yes, indeed. Um, but that will be the last day uh, match for tonight. Again, thanks for everybody for joining us as well. Shout out to also Sir Please for the server, for Neil and Rails as well, and everybody have a great night. I can.